Bowman here from BW1.com, and let me slide myself in here and talk about day two of Google I.O. and what came out of the press conference. It was all about Chrome, between the Chrome browser and Chrome OS. Two big things that came out of it. First, the biggest thing probably here is there's going to be two new Chrome netbooks coming to market. This little guy is going to get a couple of brothers here, and it's Samsung and Acer that are going to be putting out Chrome OS netbooks coming out real soon on June 15th. Let's talk about some of the specs. First with the Samsung one, which is more the stylish one. That's the Samsung Series 5 is what it's going to be called. It's going to come with a 12.1 inch display with 1200, 1280 by 800 resolution. It's going to have about 8.5 hours of continuous battery life, an Intel Atom dual core processor, and an HD webcam. Now it's going to be priced in two models. Wi-Fi, it's going to be 429. Wi-Fi plus 3G at 499. Think those are pricey either way that's going close to a low-end laptop in a lot of cases and it's kind of over netbook prices so I'm pretty sure they're gonna be really good but I'm not too sure about the price there around those now the Acer is gonna be coming a little bit cheaper at $349.99 it's gonna have a smaller screen at 11.6 inches it's gonna have the same Intel dual core atom processor it's gonna have an HD webcam but it's gonna have uh, 6.5 hours of continuous battery life on that one and it's supposed to be a Wi-Fi plus global 3G version of that coming later on down the road as well. But currently, the Wi-Fi version is going to be $349.99. They're both going to be available on June 15th. The Samsung is going to be available on Amazon and Best Buy, while the Acer is going to be available on Amazon.com. Another cool thing about these netbooks is how they're going to be releasing them out to businesses and schools. Now, it's, it's a kind of a new, innovative way they're going to be doing about it. Instead of doing software as a service, they're going to be doing hardware as a service. So they're going to charge businesses for, uh, for, for getting a Chrome netbook, whichever, whichever one they choose, $28 per user. And that includes all software updates and hardware updates. When there's a new Chrome netbook that's out, they're going to send you those new Chrome netbooks when new hardware is available. Same thing with the software updates. And for students, it's going to be the same type of deal, but they're only going to be charging them $20 per student. That's definitely revolutionary right there. You, 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 know, you usually see software as a service, but hardware as a service, that's definitely something different here. I'm really interested in see, seeing where businesses are really going to take that. So that's pretty much it for sort of the hardware side of Chrome OS. On the software side of things is finally getting a file manager yes finally one of the things that's always been lacking in Chrome OS is the ability to manage files download attachments and be able to view those attachments later it's so finally getting a file manager you can you can um, use your uh, you can plug in your camera or an SD card and grab pictures and import them in and upload them and it's going to use cloud storage and services and stuff like that all the fancy stuff Google likes to talk about with the cloud and that's going to be coming down the line too so thumbs up to the file manager and the other thing with uh, Chrome browser, kind of the biggest thing that came out of that is Angry Birds. So now Angry Birds is finally available on the web. It's going to be in the Chrome web browser. It does work in uh, Firefox and IE as well too. And um, it's taking advantage of some new, some new technologies and stuff like that too. But basically, to sum it up, you get Angry Birds in your web browser. It's currently free under the beta. So um, definitely check it out. Download it from the Chrome web store if you're using Google Chrome. That's pretty much the big things that came out of Google I.O. today. Let me know your thoughts on it. What do you think about those netbooks? I think they're a little bit pricey. Even both, I think they're a little bit pricey for such a new operating system. I kind of wish they would come a little bit lower. And let me know what you think of Chrome OS with the file browser. I think that's pretty cool there. Finally getting that file man management system. You see you want to go a little bit further with some more things there. Post a comment below. Post a comment at the website at bw1.com. Hit us up on Twitter. Facebook, video responses, just let us know what you think. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com, reminding you, subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page. All the links to all of, all of that stuff will be in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.